Well, happy September, everybody. Today I am sharing with you some fall decorating, getting out my tote of fall decor, doing just a little bit here and there right now. And um, you'll see me in two outfit changes because it happened in the course of a couple days. But I'm just starting off with my tablescape. Of course, I don't have pumpkins quite yet in this first day, but then by the second day i have a few white pumpkins and i'm just making some really simple changes adding some different art pieces of course most of it's all thrifted again changing out some faux flowers that i have to other flowers um, copper candlesticks copper pieces are going to be some touches i have as well as some eucalyptus i did eucalyptus in white last year quite a bit too and i'll continue in that and so i'm just bringing you along today as i decorate for fall in my home I think art is really a nice touch to change out and if you can find it thrifted it's so affordable and just adding different um, nature scenes like those barn scenes I had I thought that was just very rustic and then adding different pillows that's a great way to change out the seasonal touches and I got that checkered pillow from a local store called Leo home and it was ten dollars I shared it in a different video a while back but As I'm going through my tote of fall decor, I have some things I definitely will not be using this year. I want to do more of a white and blue theme, which I kind of did in like the rusted orange or mustard color, I should say, and copper. So like these I'll definitely keep and use. I spray painted those several years ago. I really don't think I'm going to keep that. I'll get rid of those stems. Um, I might use some of these, like save them for when I decorate our little fixer upper for different seasons. Like this was just a tacky little piece that I tried to make that I'm ready to get rid of. So there's just some things I, I really don't want to keep. So, and things I forgot I even had. Um, and I want to just keep it pretty minimal this year. But I have some other things I will definitely be using. My pillow covers. I love getting pillow covers and inserts. That's a tip for decorating per season. Just Get the covers and have the inserts and then just use scarves or something to hang on racks for decor just different things like that and then like wheat stems just a lot of natural elements with decorating for me, it's never just a hang it and leave it there. I definitely do a trial and error. So I'm just practicing with some different scarves, testing out what I like, different greens. I'm um, just checking things out to see how I like it. If I don't, I might change it out the next day. But usually I settle on something after a while because honestly, um, decor is just, it's fun to have. It makes statements in your home, but truly that's not what is most important in the home, but it's just fun again to have those touches of different seasons in a house.
my real pumpkins are here. I bought them from a local place at my hometown and um, they have some great selection. They even let me go out early before they had their stand set up and pick out pumpkins. So I got some white ones, which I'm excited to have. And I always struggle to decorate this little built-in area, but I think how I have it is pretty simple. By the end, you don't get to see the finished product, but I do like what I ended up doing with it and just keeping it very simple and neutral. this season I really did not buy much except my real pumpkins and one more bunch of faux eucalyptus leaves from Amazon. All the other items that I have are from previous years from Hobby Lobby, from thrift stores, um, things I found handed down. So I just really use what I have um, and add those touches that I enjoy in my home. And this front porch area is always a fun place for me to decorate and just to change out as I know that's the first place that people see when they enter my home. decorating for fall everybody i hope you felt inspired to decorate your home for fall however that may be and i will talk with you in my next video have a blessed and wonderful day